Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about what is a form array and how to use a form array with form controls in Angular. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created a project with app.component.ts and app.component.html as a default files. And now what I want to demonstrate is I want to show you how to use a form array. For creating a form array, what I want to do is just I want to create a HTML first. So let me create a div and inside this div let me create a input field and with this input field I want to show some placeholder is equal to sample array form controls so before going to understand this particular data I, what I want to make you understand is why we are using a form array form array is something which we can generate and set of input elements that means we can iterate a similar type of input fields over a form that is called as form array that means I want to iterate this particular input field number of times so that is how we will be using a form array so now how to create a form array let me go to ts file and create a variable called as cities so I have a form array with cities form array and let me create a constructor and inside the constructor what I want to do is I want to create an instance for form array form array is a class in angular and this will accept a set of array of content so let me create an array and what this array should have it may have a form group with form controls and a form controls itself in this video we will focus only on the form controls let me create a form control new form control of an empty string so let me save this and now I want to loop this cities so let me go to the HTML and create a ng for as we know ng for is used to loop some content let control of cities dot controls so what this controls will do controls is a property which will give you an array of properties that means let me give let i is equal to index and now i want to make this input field to bind with this form control inside our array so we don't have any name for this form control as we don't have any name for this form control we we can't use form control name directive instead we will be using form control as a directive and this is having some dynamic value so now let me use this property binding and assign a dynamic value as we are assigning a dynamic index value to this form control we have to use a property binding without a form control name property so now we are using a form control directive and in this directive let me pass the control with an index so let me pass the index value here now every time whenever it is looping the number of controls which we have inside this array will be binded to this control and that many times we will be printing this input field let me save this and also save this now if you see here we are getting an error error occurs in the template of component app component why because no index signature with a parameter of type number was found on the type abstract control that means whenever we are giving a form control it is not able to find that form control because it is an array a control may be a group a control may be a form control so for that sake what i will do is i'll create a method get form control of I'll pass the index value to this as a number format and it should return a form control what we are doing is just we are trying to typecast the content why to typecast we need to typecast because angular should be aware what we are sending for a form control here we are using a form control but this control may be an array may be a for group may be a form control so that is the reason what we can do is instead of using control directly we will typecast it telling that this control is not a group this is a form control so now this dot cities dot controls of i as form control so now i am returning this form control and this i will be an index let me pass the index so here we are using as which can be typecasted to a form control and now let me save this and let me use this get form control instead of using a form control directly 
so now copy paste here and pass the index value let me save here and see here it has been compiled successfully now let me go here and if you see here sample array from the form control that means instead of using this much big placeholder what I'll do is I'll use the index value directly something like index index control that means 0 control 1 control 2 control we will be getting something like this and now index is not available i will be available let me save this and now you can go and see here 0 control and now what i'll do is i'll go here and i'll add one more control copy this comma paste here save this go here you will be seeing two controls that is zero control and one control that means whatever the number of controls we are adding in this form control they are getting iterated and they are showing in this ui now after this all ng for let me create a button to see what how we will access them get array values let me create an event like click and this is something like show array values and let me create this method in my ts file go here and this is of return type void because we are not returning anything just i'll want to console console dot log of this dot cities dot value so now we will be getting the values of this particular array let me save this and also html you see here we have created two controls let me reload and now we got get array values and let me enter I am zero I am zero control and I am one control so now whenever I click get array values see here we are getting the array values directly in zero index and one index so we are using two controls and we are getting the array format now when to use form arrays form arrays are used whenever you want to loop set of content or html content which is having the inputs and the same type of ui should be rendered then we will be using a form array with form controls and here whenever we want to send the data to the back end with a direct array format then we can use a form arrays and a form array can have a arrays which accepts a new form control or a new form group or another array a form array can contain a form control form group or form array to access the values of a form array we will be using dot value same like form group because these all are inherited from an abstract control the only reason why we are typecasting is a form array can accept any of the control that means a group a control an array so all this group control and array comes under abstract controls that means whenever we are assigning to a directive it is not able to identify whether it is a form control whether it is a form group whether it is a form array so that is the reason what we are doing is we are trying to typecast and tell angular that this is not a form array or form group this is a form control so that is how we are able to give our value to a form control directive and to access them we are using a property called as dot value in general this direct form arrays is not used more we will be using and injecting a form array into a form group because always we focus to send the api via json format we'll see more about these form groups and form arrays in the upcoming videos i hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you